We're working on the road glide again. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're working on the road glide again. You could probably take a guess on what we're gonna be doing. And if you can't guess exactly, you know it probably has something to do with blacking it out. <laughs> I know, I know. So since we just got the road glide and we haven't really had too much time to work on it, um, there's a couple of little things that we're gonna do today to just really make a big difference. It's the little things that matter sometimes the most. We're gonna be working on taking the red reflector off the saddlebag and putting these new ones on just to clean it up a little bit. Carbon fiber and they have the 3M tape on them. I will put all the links in the description below of where I got these from. I knew that Anthony was gonna want them. I bought these, they didn't send them to me. So, you know, I'll always let you guys know if somebody sent me something, um, but usually we're buying these and just installing them. And while I have the heat gun out, we're gonna take the reflectors off the front forks too. Again, I snuck into the garage because this is one of those tedious things that I think Anthony would probably wanna do himself. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, I'm trying to make him relax because he just got back from surgery and uh, not that this is really hard work, but anything I can do, it makes me feel better anyway, <laughs> that he's relaxing and getting better. Anyway, let's get to it. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe and hit that bell icon. Okay. So this is what we're gonna be working on right here. This reflector in the saddlebag. And I'm actually gonna go ahead, instead of working on it on the bag, I'm going to work on it like a gentleman and I'm going to take this whole piece off um, so I can work on it at the table. So underneath this flap holding the bag open are the screws for this bracket to take it out from the other side. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I haven't taken these apart before so guess and check. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna be able to get underneath here without moving this piece. So I'm just gonna take one part off at a time and I'm gonna hold it up with my ice cream roll here. That's the bracket right there. So I'm going to do these three screws first. So that came right off. Once you get those screws kind of loose, lean it against your leg or your ice cream roll or whatever you got and uh, keep your hand underneath this so this doesn't fall because again, you're only replacing this reflector, this paint you don't want to scratch up. So I'm going to do that on the other side. Okay, so this is the part I'm a little nervous about <laughs> uh, because I don't want to mess this up. We'll take the reflectors off of the front forks when we're done with this. This is like recessed inside this piece. So I'm gonna have to get in between this and kind of pry it out. So I'm a little nervous to scratch it. Normally, I would just cover something with a towel but Kidmoto22 did this and he had used painter's tape to cover this. So I think I'm gonna try that first um, and see how it goes and we'll go from there. This is the smallest tool that I have. It's a tiny little flathead screwdriver. So I'm gonna use that to try to pry that off 
and we got the heat gun to heat it up before we do that. And then I just got my towel to lay this on so I don't scratch anything. Wish me luck. The other thing you wanna be aware of is heating up the paint too much around these reflectors. So whether it's on the bike itself or just this piece that I'm taking off now, I don't want to heat the paint up around it so much that it's going to bubble, but I want to heat the glue behind the reflector so that it gets a little softer and I can peel it off. Huh. Having nails has its advantages. So. You can get in there with a blade and just cut out the outline because that's what I'm going to use to pry this thing out. Just go easy and take your time. There's the red reflector. So we're gonna get the rest of the sticky stuff off of here from the tape that didn't peel off. Um, use some Goo Gone and get it really cleaned up. And we'll do the other side too. All right, now I'm going to take some alcohol and clean off all that Goo Gone. These are side specific. They're not exactly the same. So make sure you know which one goes where before you take the tape off. <laughs> so you can see this one is not going to fit that way. There's only one way these are gonna go. So, this is gonna be an exact fit. It's made for this. So, once you peel it off, you don't have to worry about the position too much. So, I'm just going to heat it up a little bit just to get it a little more sticky, I guess. <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw it on there. All right, one shot. There's the first one. So that's the before and after. I'm just going to put everything back the opposite way I took it apart. Now we're going to work on taking these off. If you want detailed instructions, check out my video. It's one of the first videos I posted. I will link it in the description. So let's do it. So like I said before, same principle still applies as we just did. When you take the heat gun to it, don't get the paint around it too hot so it bubbles up and just take it slow and steady just so we can work that fishing line behind it. So we're just gonna cut a piece off of this if you have girl hands um, or dry hands from the winter that crack when you just look at something, gloves.
We got the reflector off. Now we're just gonna clean that up with some Goo Gone. Ooh, she's pretty. So we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So guys, hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps out. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out new videos. And until next time, you ride safe and I'll catch you on the next one.